welcome to Jammer Tunes to class today on this Tuesday the 20th. Hope you guys enjoy your three-day weekend, and I hope you're ready to go over some math today. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, let me tell you a schedule for the week. You're welcome to write this information down, or you can just listen. That's up to you. Today, we're going to review for your test tomorrow. So today, we're working on a review sheet. Tomorrow, we will take your Chapter 7 test. On Thursday, we will take a look at Lesson 8.2. And homework. And on Friday, we will look at lesson 8.3. We will have notes and homework. Maybe a quiz on Friday also. Okay, so that's the schedule for the week. Um, test tomorrow over your chapter 7. Um, go ahead and pause it right now, guys, and turn in your homework from over the weekend. Now I'm using a mouse, so my writing's going to be a little sloppy here, okay? But make sure your name is on your homework, please. Right now, check and put your name on your homework if you have not done that already, okay? So go ahead and turn your homework in right now at this time, and let's continue on and complete. Now, um, I never want to embarrass anyone, but I have to make sure the students understand what's going on. Jaden Finch, well, real quick, listen to me. Um, I appreciate you coming up to me after the basketball game and showing the initiative of making sure I got the incompletes. Today, um, you should have had passed back to you one sheet of paper in which you had two assignments on them, okay? And, the, and this X right here, this is one assignment you turned in here. That's a good job. And here's the other one right here. I want to be clear, I'm not trying to embarrass anyone, but what happens sometimes is students say, Mr. Earl, I turned all my incompletes in. So I'm be very clear, you did a really good job on turning these two in. That's a good job, um, but I did never get this one here, so I want you to know that. Again, I'm, I would not embarrass you for a million dollars. Well, maybe for a million dollars. I'm kidding, but... Um, but I did not get this assignment, and it's too, it's too late to turn it in, but I want you to know that you should have received back one sheet of paper back in front, and I did get those two, okay? So thank you for turning those in. Now, Anna, you must take your makeup quiz by Friday, okay? I'm going to type right here. This was given on Friday, I believe. No, this was given on Thursday. So, Anna, makeup quiz by, um... Uh, by Friday. Now this assignment was given on Thursday, guys. It was turned in on Friday. Okay, I did not get it from Jordan, uh, Finch, Katie, or Jaren. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, this <laughs> this is not pick on Jaden today. Sorry, Jaden. Well, my mistakes. I just I looked at. That. I didn't think it was correct, so I went to Sycamore and looked. Um, and guys, if I'm if I ever make a mistake here, you'll know because right now in class, Mrs. Miss Chambers has already passed out the homework. So if you're sitting there with this assignment on your desk with a grade on it, but your name's up here, then I made a mistake. Just email me, okay? But I did not get this assignment from Jaden, um, Katie, or Jaren. So I've emailed your parents like I do every single time, guys. Um, you have until Friday to get this turned in. So please, please take care of that, okay? All right, moving on. Um, next, we're going to work on the review sheet today, the entire class period, okay? We're going to work, work, work on the review sheet. We're not going to goof off. I want you to get your work done. Let's talk about the review, feed, review sheet for a second. Now, number one, um, you do not have to do it. You do not have to do it. However, if you want five bonus points on your test, then do the entire review sheet. Uh, Miss Chambers, number two, the students need to work the entire hour, okay? They need to work the entire hour. And so, if you finish, then I want you to do some copying things, okay? And I'll get to that in a second, all right? So I want you to work the entire class period, okay? Now, if Miss Chambers gives you a couple minutes off at the end of the period, that's her business, okay? I'm just saying, from my standpoint, I want us getting our work done, okay? So, um, the review sheet is not required, um, but you need to do it if you want the five bonus points, all right? Um, here's the review sheet. So go ahead and copy that down, please. Um, 401, 8 through 23, 404, 1 through 12. I will pause a second while you guys copy that down. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, the review sheet help video is Geometry Track 2. 
chapter 7 review sheet. This is what you want to watch today in class or at home tonight to help you with the review sheet. By the way, uh, Ms. Chambers, I forgot to put this up here. You want to start the video at 12.04. So you're skipping a lot of announcements, okay? So start the video at 12.04. Okay, guys, so if you go home tonight and watch this to help you, fast forward the video to the 12 minute and 4 second mark, okay? Alright, continuing on, um, let's quickly go over your quiz from Friday. Those that missed the quiz are more than welcome to stay in the room, that's okay. Now, Miss Chambers, if you'll please watch, I want everyone to have their quizzes out on the desk, and I want you to listen so you're learning where your mistakes were, okay? Alright, here we go. Um, first of all, I'm not going to fill in the blanks for you. You guys know that by now. That's totally your job. You can look in your notes and see where you made your mistakes there, okay? All right, let's take a look at number four. Now, guys, first of all, are these two triangles similar? Well, let's see. I have 90 degrees here, 50 degrees here, so I know this has to be 40. How'd you know that, Mr. Earhart? Because remember, the three angles inside of a triangle have to add up to 180, okay? So over here, I've got a 40, 90. This has to be 50. So, are these two triangles similar? Yes. How do I know that? The angle, angle. By angle, angle, guys, look. If two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. So, yes, by AA. Now, write the triangle similarity. Okay, sure. A, B, C triangle. Triangle A, B, C is similar. Remember, I'm using a mouse to be a little sloppy to try and go down. Look, you put A first, 50 degrees. So over here, put D first, 50 degrees. You put B second. B's your 90 degrees. So put F second, your 90 degrees. And then the only letter left is E. Do you see that okay, guys? It's not that hard, okay? Now, number five, do we have two? Um, triangles that are similar. Well, let's let's write the proportions or the ratios. Let's check it out. 5 goes with 15. Corresponds to 15. So 5 over 15 equals 4 over 12 equals 2 over 6. So there, there's all the ratios. Now reduce each one. If you reduce each one, you'll get one-third, one-third, one-third. All three fractions have to equal, and they do. One-third equals one-third equals one-third. So, yes, we have similar triangles, definitely, yes. And how do we know by what reason? Side, side, side. Whenever three sides of one triangle are proportional to three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. Okay, so let's write our statement. Let's say triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle. Well, here's A. A is made up by sides 5 and 4, 15, 12, so E would come first. Then B comes second. B is here, which would be the same thing as angle D. And then we have E, D, F. F is the last letter. So triangle E, D, F. All right. Okay, next one. Now, guys, think about this. This is 45 degrees. So I know this is 45 degrees, too, because we learned when two lines intersect, their vertical angles are congruent. Anytime two angles intersect, this angle is congruent to this angle. And this angle is congruent to this angle here. Those are called vertical angles, okay? So here's my two lines intersecting right here. If this angle here is 45 degrees, then this angle here is 45 also. Now, 45 plus 65 is 110. So this has to be 70 to give you a total of 180. Over here we have 45 plus 70. That's 115. So we have to have 65 to give us 180. Well, look, guys, I've got 45, 65, 70. 45, 65, 70. Yes, the triangles are similar. Yes. By what reason? Angle, angle. Okay. Remember, if two angles, if two angles in one triangle are congruent to two angles in another, then the two triangles are similar. What would my statement be? Well, it would be this right here. And I think my mouse just quit working, so hold on one second here. Gotta love these old computers. All right, here we go. Um, so triangle A, C, B 
is similar to triangle. Now look, watch guys. Angle A is 70. Angle E is 70 over here. So E comes first. Then C is second. C is 45 degrees. So my other angle then would also be 45 degrees C. So it would be E, C, and then D right here. Well, Mr. Earhart, I use triangle ABC. Well, that's fine. If you put ABC, then over here you would have E, D, C. Okay? I hope this is making sense. Let's continue on. Please listen carefully, students, and really pay attention. All right, number seven, eight, nine. Okay, now look. I have an angle congruent to an angle. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Now we do have a theorem that says side, angle, side. Let's see if we have that. 10 corresponds to 6. So 10 over 6 equals 24 over 8. Now if you reduce these two fractions, do you get equal fractions? No, you do not. Okay, you do not. 10 over 3 can't be reduced. 24 over 8 reduces to 3 over 1. So look, you do not have similar triangles because these two sides here are not proportional to these two sides here. So simply, no, they're not similar. Okay, numbers eight. Number eight. Well, the answer is no for this also. Look, guys, we have 45, 45, 90. Got it? If this is 30, there's no way these two angles over here are going to match these two angles over here. All right, it's impossible. It cannot be done. Let me show you how I know that. If this is 30, that means angle D plus angle E has to equal what? 150, right? Because 150 plus 30 is 180. So if these two angles together have to be 150, well, if one of them is 90, the other one's 60. That's not going to work, guys. There is no way that you're going to get two angles down here congruent to two angles up here. It's not possible. And then number nine is the answer is no. That was an easy process. If you missed this, I'm sorry, but it's just simply no information. So no, the triangles are not similar. All right, okay, let's continue on. Now, let's go over. So first, let me pause. That's going over your quiz. I hope that helped. I hope you're learning from your mistake. You may keep your quizzes or throw them away. It's up to you. Okay, but um, let's continue on. Now let's go over what will be on the test tomorrow when it comes to fill in the blanks. Take some really good notes. Okay, here we go. Please take some really good notes. First of all, and I'm gonna go really fast. So yeah, I would wait. I would wait to the very end, Mrs. Chambers, and then pause the video at the end. Okay. I'm gonna go pretty fast. So ratio. Know the definition of ratio. Okay. Um. Let's see what else we have here. Proportion. Know the definition of proportion. Okay. Next, know the definition of similar polygons. Next, know the angle angle similarity postulate. Know that, okay? Alright, next, know the side 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 similarity theorem, okay? Not sure what number that is, but you can look that up on your own, okay? It's in your notes. Know the side angle side similarity theorem. Okay. No, the theorem 7.4. We call it the triangle proportionality theorem. Okay. Know that. No theorem 7.5. No theorem 7.6. The mid segment theorem. Now, students, listen to me carefully. Miss Chambers, please listen to this. When the students finish their review sheet, I would like them to copy the, each one of these two times each, okay? Two times each. Now, if the bell rings, students, and you do not have time to uh, copy each one of those twice, I will not make you finish it tonight to get your five bonus points, okay? But I want you to work the entire class period on this assignment right here, page 401, page 404, okay? And if you finish it in class, then copy each one of these two times each. Turn all this in for your bonus points tomorrow on your test, okay? All right, um, that should be it, guys. Have a great rest of the day. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Please study well for a lot of you. Um, for eligibility reasons, this is a big test tomorrow, so please make sure you're ready for the test.